All right, going to walk you through today uh, the newest member of the Outdoor 2020 uh, John family. It's a Discovery uh, Solo out Old Town Canoe. Runs about uh, 11 and a half feet long. Take you through a little bit of the material it's got with it. So this is um, kind of an accessory bar. Allows you to slide in maybe a fishing pole holder or a fish finder or something like that. A couple of racks that uh, adjust to be able to put some tension against your feet when you're paddling. This is a uh, kayak style uh, seating here, a little lower center of gravity, cup holder in the middle, as you can see. And then just some features here like uh, some pole holders uh, for fishing, uh, like I said, a cup holder, the ability to uh, adjust your seat support uh, by pulling on that uh, string and the like. And then since it's a kind of a hybrid um, canoe it's open as you can see unlike a canoe unlike a kayak uh, but yet 11 and a half feet kind of a, um, a kayak size I uh, got it up on some wheelies to help me uh, bring it down to the river uh, not much better than seeing a bald eagle fly around when you're about to come out onto the river you can see him right above the trees right now So one of the other things that's interesting about being out on the water in my new kayak canoe is the concept of going with the current, having the wind at your back versus going against the current. And I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, thing to talk about or think about a little bit because there's certainly benefits to both. So if you're going with the current, with the tide, with the flow as they say, wind at your back, uh, there's definitely a lot of benefits to be had for that. It's easier kind of faster, get where you're going uh, a lot quicker, and the like. Um, now, in fact, you could almost argue that there's no benefit uh, to going against the tide. And so you think about the benefit of going against the tide, and what is that? So, you know, um, part of it is you get a better workout, you work a little harder at something, you feel better about achieving it, um, it's a little harder on you, um, might cause you to have to think or do things a little differently. Um, than you would have if, if you were just going with the flow. Um, so just something to think about. I am thinking about it as I'm out here on this uh, canoe today is going up and down this estuary. One way seems really rather easy. Uh, going with the flow, wind's at my back, and I'm making great time. Uh, the other way is a little choppy, a little, a little hard to keep uh, in a straight line, a lot of back and forth, a lot of zigzagging because you know, you're putting a lot more paddle strokes in the water. Um, and again, maybe there's some benefit to that. So just thinking of both sides of the equation as we're out here having a good day on a beautiful river uh, and talking into a phone, which is kind of weird and against what I'm trying to do. Of course, canoeing doesn't mean you can't play some harmonica. So let's see what we got out on the water today. Piano man. Good reflection on the water today, huh? Kind of really nice. <laughs> 